Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I'll be showing you how you can easily create and display a testimonial section on your WordPress website using Elementor Page Builder and Elements Kit Elementor add-on. Both are the free plugins, so you won't have to spend any money. Let's see the testimonial section we will create in this training. Here goes it. If I hover over here, you can see the background color changes, also the text color changes. And you can add any code image, you can add text, you can add rating, author or client image and name and designation. And you can easily change the style of each element very easily. Okay, if I click on here, here you can see it rotates. So Let's get to be started and create this testimonial carousel or slider. Well, I will do this job in three simple steps. Firstly, I will install the plugin. Secondly, I'll just add testimonial contents. And finally, I'll design it using Elementor Page Builder. So let's get to be started and access the dashboard of your WordPress website. Here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website and in this step I'm going to install the plugin. So I'm going to click on plugins and click on add new. And here I'm going to search for elements kit. It's a Elementor add-on and here goes the expected plugin. I'm going to click on install now and click activate so elements kit light version of the plugin has been successfully installed and activated and here you can see on the left we have got a new menu called elements kit just click on it and here goes the dashboard of that plugin if you click on elements here goes all the elements you will get with the free version just you can enable up you can disable pretty simple or you can individually enable or disable any element that's all and by this time we have successfully installed the plugin let's go to the next step just add elements okay go to the pages and click on all pages and here goes all the pages i have you can display the testimonial section in any page of your WordPress website. I would like to display it on the home page. Here it is. So what I'm going to do, just hover over this section and click on it, edit with Elementor and open in a new tab. Now you should decide where you would like to display the testimonial section. I think I would like to display here. Here you can see the plus sign and if you click on it, it will create a new section. Just click on this plus sign to create a row. I would like to start with this one, a on column row. Just click on it and here goes the plus sign. If you click on the plus sign, on the left side, you will see all the available widgets. And here goes the elements, it's all the widgets. And you can do this or you can search here for testimonial. Here it is. Just grab it, drag and drop here okay friends it automatically creates the testimonial section and first of all here you can see three section content style and advanced under content you can see layout it offers six free layouts the first one is this if you hover over here you can see the preview and the second one is and third one is fourth one in this demo site we have selected this one okay so i'm going to click on it number fourth and go to the next part testimonial and here i'll add the content already you can see some demo content but you will add your own okay here you can see enable code icon it is a code icon you can enable or disable it if you disable it, it won't show up here. Okay, I'm going to enable here. 
and I'm going to change the icon here you can see on the demo side the icon is different so here I'm going to click on icon library and search for code and I used this on just select it and click insert and here you can see the icon changed okay and you can enable custom position and enable rating and finally here goes the testimonial section I'm going to close all of this and click on here to edit this one first of all you will have to add the client name and the designation and some review text okay and the rating you can rate 4 here you can see 4 you can rate 3 or 5 and here goes client avatar or profile picture just choose image I'm going to scroll down and add these images and it here and logo uh, this logo works with different layout probably this one and this one and for layout 4 this option doesn't work okay so I'm going to click on here again and here you can see uh, background color so here you can see our white background and you can choose the background color I have already selected this color okay and click on this and add color and here you can see the color changed perfect okay friends here you can see I have only one testimonial but on the demo there are several ones so what I'm going to do for this shake of this tutorial I'm going to duplicate and what I can do just click on here and at the same time I can change or update the content it's easy to change you can change the names okay and in the same way you can change images and you can easily change from here click insert media that's fine we have added testimonials let's go to the settings and here you can see spacing left right you can add a space slides to show now here you can see three items at a time but here is only one because here goes on I am going to increase it to three pretty simple here you can see it scrolls on image at a time but you can set to two so it will slide two images at a time and autoplay I'm going to disable it to make this tutorial here you can see show dots here goes the dots and if you would like you can show arrow here and pause on hover if you hover then this will be paused okay so we are done with this first step content let's go to style setting I'm going to go to a style setting and here you can see background on hover the background color changed so I'm going to get the color code probably this color and come back here to change the background click on here and add color I'm going to hit update and click on preview okay I have to do something else okay 
probably I will add the color here on active stars. So I'm going to get this color again and add the color code here. Perfect. And column gap. You can increase column gap. Here goes the column gap. And you can add padding. You can add border radius. And I'm going to show you how you can change the color on active. I mean when it when you hover over the it should be here, background type. Now, here you can see on hover the background color changes. Okay, let's go to description section, and here you can see the color is white or black. And I want it to be white on hover, so click on here and Type the color code triple F and now here it is. Okay. And go to rating the rating color. You can change the rating color to anything else. But the default color is quite good. You can increase the font size. Okay, let's go to code icon and here goes the color. So, firstly, change the color. Here it is. You can increase the size as I showed earlier. You can add margin, you can add padding, you can add border radius, a lots of things. So that's all about code icon. Let's go to the title separation. Separate color. It doesn't work with this demo. So I feel sorry. It works with another demo layout. So go to the clients. And here you can see client name. Color of the client name is black. But you can change the color. Okay. That's fine. Here you can see clients designation. You can also change the color of client's designation, any color you like. Okay, so black is great. And go to the typography setting. You can change it to bold. Okay, that's all for client. And we have successfully completed the style settings. According to your choice, you can add any color, any text any font type so i'm going to click on hit update and go to the advanced here you can add margin to this section and you can add padding to this section if you like just i'm going to unlock it i'm going to add padding top to 80 pixel padding bottom to 80 pixel perfect you can add motion effect, background, border, anything else. So that's all. Well friends, I could show you how you can easily create a beautiful testimonial section on your Otfish website. And all the plugins are free. I will provide the link of this plugin elements kit and click on that link. You will be sent to that page. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and share it and feel free to leave your opinion in the comment section. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.